How are you guys going to want your eggs? Sure. I want my egg. I just want one egg. That's it? Yeah, oh, you gotta get I it. want it uh, probably scrambled. Okay. <laughs> How's the old stove doing? One egg scrambled. It's keeping the coffee pot warm. Nice. Really warm. But I'm still amazed how cool that is. That is yeah. awesome. That's yeah, it's really hot. It would warm up. Yeah, that's great. I got some old cast ones, Donnie, that have the hook to hang somewhere. Wow. As long as I didn't get rid of them. That's what you're after, right? Yeah, right. You know, we're looking at yeah. one right here yeah. with a stove all the time. The other thing, too, is like if you get a. Uh, I like the cast iron frying pan. Yeah, right. If you're cleaning that wood and drying right. it, you can always hang on the end of it, too. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, always, I like cast iron. Yeah, I bet you don't go through much wood once once we get this insulated. Yeah. I could be wrong though, I, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. You'd be warm one way or another. Right. Yeah. Some of that hemlock out there will, you can mix in too, all the scrap pieces. Yeah, I would I would throw a piece in now and then. Yeah. yeah. But it burn it up. Yeah. And be used. And he says hemlock burns so much hotter than Honey. Wine or anything else. Old guy once told me that that honey locust, yeah, it burns like coal. Ah, really? When I years ago, when I put it in my first trailer, when I was really young, there was a lot of locusts. I cut it all up and stacked it all up four foot. A guy stopped and, and wanted that pile, which in the worst way, paying money just for that locust. Ah, yeah. And that's the only time I really heard anybody talk about it. Yeah. yeah. My grandpa always used to talk about corn beef. Oh yeah. For axe handles and stuff? Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's the kind of the fun. Yeah, that's freaking stuff. Wow, what a difference in the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to that. You know, on his videos, watching, watching the progress and so forth, but you know, we said wilderness camp. Yeah. Well, to me, this is really more than a camp. I know what. You know, I, I, I picture in my mind a wilderness camp would be more like the one down below. Yeah. You know, that would be a wilderness camp. I know, we might have to change the name of this to a luxury camp. <laughs> but it came out looking like the design I had. Oh, yeah. Surprises. Good scrambled egg. Not half bad with it. One thing we do, Ken, is we eat pretty good. All right, we are back in the northern most rainforest in the world. North Main rainforest. Uh, we got quite a bit done this morning. Kenny and I finished the porch. As you can see, the dry boards are all fresh ones. And we threw this grate in, this floor grate. I'm pretty excited about that. My show, dad used show to be. Me how it works. Yeah, show him how it works. My dad used to be a trash man, and he saved that from the dump. Geez, probably 30 years ago. My mother used to give him a hard time all the time about all the stuff he brought home and it'd never be used. So, mom, if you're watching this, they got finally got to use something from the dump. Yeah. But there it is, right there, and super that's, rugged. That's great. Nice, nice add-on to the camp. Yeah. Yeah. And Donnie has been working on something I haven't seen yet, but I just, I don't even know if I want to go see this. It's uh, Fort, Fort Knox out back here. I'm building an outhouse, and I didn't want to put it on post. So, as you can see, if you peek around this corner, this oh is, my, this oh is my. the foundation to the outhouse. Oh, my word. And if, if, if the uh, compost and toilet ever quits... We'll just cut a hole in the floor and fill this thing up. Yeah, with, that'll fill up with pretty. debris. Yeah, that'll fill up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so uh, it's going to be a walkout right from that door on yeah. the end of the house, right straight out. And you got it high enough so you can start a fire underneath. Yeah, yeah. And you can, keep your butt warm. Right. So, oh, it's 
<laughs> it's quite something. But I'm using up all this junk lumber for sure. Jeez. Um, what do you think of the porch? I think it looks great. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about yeah. that. Yeah, and then all day long we're going to keep the wood stove cranking I'm gonna to dry out. Dry myself yeah, out. Donnie's been out in the rain, so it's going to be... Yeah, it is nice. How nice oh is it, Donnie? This is, this is wonderful. Walking into a nice warm place. We've got lights. Yeah, this is wonderful. Maybe we can even whip up a cup of coffee. There's a hot piece, there's a hot still some on the wood stove. I imagine that's probably boil dry, don't you? I hope not. Oh no, there's still some in there. I need to put a hanger right here. Of course, I don't have my hammer. We're gonna get a lot of use out of this. This is stainless, it doesn't even get warm. And it's adjustable, you can slide it in or out as close to as you want to that stove pipe or the stove. And you can slide it up and down. So if you want something just barely cooking, you can put it an inch off the stove. If you want it just to stay warm, you can lift it up eight inches off the stove. <laughs> oh. uh, but it's really cool to have something to, to hang there, that arm. The convention by Ken and then <laughs> Ken's going to really stick it to us on the attachments for this thing. <laughs> Donnie, and, Donnie and Ken have been designing some attachments for the side for gloves and for, wow. for other various... Uh, what were you guys talking about? Putting a grate on the side? Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. Dry some dishes and some gloves. Or yeah. Wow, Ken, that looks awesome. Getting rid of all this hemlock. Yeah, that burns. Good. It even snaps and crackles like you should, like a fire should. I can't get over how that hemlock puts out heat. Oh, wicked. That's what I burn in my back shop. shop. Yeah. I've been burning it for years. It rips. You gotta be careful. Yeah. I got yeah. one of them Vermont things that tells you the heat coming out. Oh, out of the chimney. And it could be 750 degrees in 10 minutes. Wow, wow. It says it's too hot. It's made for creosote, like to let you know. All right. Where, what range does it make creosote in? Under, it was under 300, and and I don't know why it says danger over 750. Does it make it over temperature? Or? I don't think Maybe. so, no. Yeah. I think creosote is from a, like a smudge fire. Yeah. Yeah. Not burning hot, burning everything up. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think it was like 350 or under, they, they wanted to go hotter. Ah. The, the best range was like 450 to 500. And that was supposed to be 12 inches up off the wood stove yeah. on the metal pipe. What are you building over here? Believe it or not, this is probably the ruggedest outhouse in the North Main woods. We're gonna we're gonna put a composting toilet in it. I'm gonna have a ramp, a walkway come out of here. So all you have to do is come out the door and go in the toilet. If the composting toilet doesn't work, we'll take it out. We'll cut a hole right here, and we'll fill this whole bottom area. I think, I think things are going to be great. So, this thing is a dance floor. It is. It's it's a rugged piece of uh, two by ten. A rugged structure. <laughs> I used whatever we had left. Two by over. ten. Two by eight. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we had left over from the building. You got room to start a little fire in there oh, to keep yeah, your butt we, warm? You could probably sleep in there. So, we'll see how it works out. You're, I remember you saying, <laughs> now I don't want a little outhouse that you can't hardly That's turn right. around in. That's right. So you've got one that you nice. can turn around in. We got enough for the walls or are we going to go home and make the walls? No, we got to, I'm not going to Obviously, I got some two by fours. I think I got enough two by fours to frame the walls. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But that's probably going to be on my next trip. Yeah. But uh, we'll get the base in, and and uh, it's pretty level. You know, you won't fall off the toilet when you sit on it. You putting walls up, or is it just going to be open? What's that? Is it going to be open? Open. A open outhouse, or are you going to do some walls? <laughs> I never thought of an open outhouse. That might be kind of nice. I like it. Yeah. 
We we put in a big window. We ought to have a window. Oh in yeah, it. big window, picture window on yeah. the side. Which way are you facing? Which way am I facing? To poop. Oh. That way. We're facing this towards this building. Okay. Yeah. But we gotta have a window. Yeah. Half moon. Yeah. Let's put a window that way. We got a half moon window actually. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. We saved a window from this building, didn't we? Oh my God, that we couldn't use that anywhere. No, the one. Oh no, we used it. Yeah. Oh, we do. You know, we do have a window. We have that half moon. Yeah. Which would be great for an outhouse. Yeah. Half moon. Yeah. I got a window at home too. A small one. Yeah. Yeah, we can put that in here. Yeah. So it's gonna be it's gonna be vented, and I figured we'd come up. The, you know the vents in the back of the unit come up and then go out through the side back wall yeah. rather than up through the roof oh cool you know save uh, cutting a hole in the metal yeah so. so we wanted to get this in before the snow flies and the snow flies any time now which way are you doing the roof I'm going to pitch it back this way yep yeah. But that unit sticks out 33 inches from the back wall. Wow. So you got a four inch wall. It's in 33s, what, 37. So that unit is going to stick Holy out right cow. about here, the front of the unit. So not much room to dance. No, you've got a little bit on each side, maybe. <laughs> so, oh yeah, this is quite something. I've never seen one like it. No, I never have either. No. Probably never will again. No. But take quite a while to fill this up. You know, we we have to yeah. resolve to that. Yeah. You know. Leave a hole so the slop yeah. can slide out. I mean, once we fill that in, we could just move over on this yeah. side. Fill this right plumb full. It's a big box. <laughs> what do you think about a roof? A walkway going from there to there. You gonna do a walkway? <laughs> oh, roofed over. Yeah. That might yeah, be cool. so Yeah. Yeah, we don't want the walkway to have to no. shovel that. Yeah. <laughs> People are gonna come by and say, "What the heck is that thing?" Yeah. I had ten receptacles, right? Yeah. Seven switches, <laughs> two hundred fifty feet of wire. Yeah. And whatever for a box. Whatever, yeah. Whatever for a box that we need over here. All right. Write a box with a question mark. And then also write there. I can't find that adapter. It goes from outside to inside. Enjoy. I got these pickles. I got these pickles from Joanne. And she lives on Campobello Island. And uh, we, I went up to visit them when I was up there last week. She and get her husband Gary, who has a, a nice garden, and he raised the cute for it. They watch your channel. They love your channel, along with many other people up there. So she said, oh, t take this to Joey. I said, she asked if he likes spice. I said, yeah, he likes some spice. And... Uh, he likes to have a little spice in his life, and uh, so she said, well, I, I made these pickles, they're a little bit hot, and they call Lady Ashburn, and I said, Ashburn, maybe Ashburn would be better after you eat them, so, so we're going to try these pickles tonight. Let's give it to him, yeah, for dinner or after? Oh, we, with, with, okay. with dinner, I think. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I haven't ever had anything from Campobello that wasn't great. Oh, I know. You know, Bertha's Square. Yeah. So she's they got a lot to live up to. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know. It's pretty hard to beat that apple dapple that your daughter made. Yeah, that apple dapple cake is good that Darcy made, too. Yeah, there's a lot of good cooks out there. So we'll give it a try. Get well, this corn. Today was the first morning of Joe Holland's breakfast. That was pretty, pretty hard to beat. That was pretty good, huh? Yeah. Drove that right into the end. Yep. Well, Ken, tell us a little bit about this wood stove. <laughs> it's nice and warm right now. 
tell, tell you about it? I guess we ordered a sheet of, some sheets of uh, quarter inch steel, some angle bar, some flat bar, and cut it all up, welded it together. Got some really good ideas from my brother Mom. He built one pretty much like it back in 1985, oh. and they're still heating their home with it today. Is, is he a welder? Um, he took welding in school. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually a lobsterman. That's who gave us the crab meat, oh, the crab okay. sandwiches. Well, yeah. yeah. What's his name? We gotta thank him. Bill. Yeah. Bill Kirby, welder man. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Bill, thank you so much. Oh, that crab God. meat was amazing. It was awesome. Yeah, it sure was. Um, he's actually come to find out. Him and my sister are both big fans of the channel too. Oh no way! Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So how many hours do you think you got into that stove? You shocked me when you sent me that message and said it's done. <laughs> uh, you were about two weeks early. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I never really kept track. I, I did get the GoPro from you. I should have took some video of it because some people that don't do it would be interested in how it's built. Sure. But without a press break, you just take the two pieces corner to corner, fill it in with weld. That way you get a hundred, you know, as much weld in it as you can. <clears throat> just make sure everything's square and rugged so it doesn't warp over time yeah i like how you got those um those angle rods welded to yep. it like i said that was right straight off my brother-in-law's stove because if that's lasted since 1985 this one should last that many years oh yeah we'll get some good use out of this in the winter it's the prettiest stove i've ever seen and i love that front tray to catch Stuff falling out. Yeah. They never make those big enough. No, usually not. And they don't put like a big rail on it like that either. But right, usually it's just flat. So, yeah, yeah, so I love that. So when stuff falls out, it catches it. Yep. Yep, yeah, you can even put stuff there. Piece that's going to pop at you when you get the door open or something. Yeah. And of course, Donnie's dream on there is amazing. And then this rod is awesome. It's yeah. as hot as it is. You can grab right a hold of that. It's still cold. And that's adjust, fully adjustable up, down in or out yep. and then we're going to have a couple other attachments on this side i think yeah a dish rack yeah type style yeah which will be pretty awesome so. do, you, do you use a, a stick welder or do you use a big welder when i built this i used a mig welder okay yep it's much you, quicker do you get it or does it quicker it does yep oh ah. yep. it does it does it I mean, the beads on it are just perfect. The rows. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is it easier to use a MIG or? It is easier, yeah. 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 Yeah, because with the MIG, you keep the same distance from your piece. And with the stick rod, you have to keep pushing in. Right. So it's a, it's a little bit harder, but if you know how to do one, it's easy to do the other. So. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, those welds are absolutely yeah, perfect. They're gorgeous. A lot of people are going to enjoy this. And the cool part about it to me is it's the centerpiece of the camp now. <laughs> and even when it's done, yeah. it's going to be the centerpiece of the camp. Everybody walks through that door, it's going to be one of the first things they see. We might have a moose head or a big buck over the, up there. They'll see that too, but it's always going to come back to the wood stove. It's definitely doing its work right now, drying this out so you can get the insulation out. Yep. Do you show the viewers how much insulation you've got to put? Yeah, we got a, well, we got a whole room full of insulation behind there we're going to hang. And we're, we're just dry making sure that the lumber that we use for the camp is bone dry before we put up the insulation and block it otherwise you'd have some mildew or mold problems um i don't think you'd get to rot but you'd have mildew or mold if you blocked in a lot of moisture well, like that so you know about them you know have some every wood oh there. yeah every wood's got some you get yeah. 10 14 yeah. percent is considered dry so but we want to get this down to 10 percent or so and I got a meter behind me I can check it with and we've already dried it considerably. This is just the first day, a day and a half that we've run the, the wood stove and it's definitely dried considerably. You can just tell by looking at it, smelling it and feeling the air in here. It rained six or seven times today outside, but in here it's been bone dry and well, it nice only, and warm. It only rained when Donnie went outside to work. Every time Donnie went out to work? Well, I got some uh, fresh corn and I picked up a... Uh, kind of a marinated uh, pork tenderloin, which I just, I usually cook it in an oven, but I got my little camp stove oven, but I didn't bother tonight, but I sliced it up and put it on the stove, and 
and pork gravy with it and uh, mashed potato. And we got Joanne's pickles to try. Sweet. We'd like to try them. We're hot. I don't know what to call it. Yeah. Yeah. They're Lady. Lady. Ashburn. Ashburn. That pork tenderloin you can cut with a fork. Yes. That looks it's terrible. Pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> Donnie, it looks like you've outdone yourself again in your culinary arts. Well, I don't know. You haven't tasted it yet. No, that's true. You want to try these? Pickles? I definitely do. Those sound right in my alley. You like hot? Oh, I love hot. She said they're not that hot, really. Great, thank you. Whoops. I'll try it. Where do we go? Oh, wow. Good? The edible? Oh, that sound good. The edible, Ken? Oh, yeah. She's a good cook. She can make some pickles, that's for sure. Wow. Joanne? Joanne. Yeah. I'm going to take this off just so it doesn't burn yeah. out of okay. Joanne and Gary, their grandson happened to be at the house when I was there. And we got talking deer hunting. He's a deer hunter. He's probably, four, I think, 14. Oh, wow. Good. He watches your channel. Well, the pickles are good. Yeah, they are. The pickles are good. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> and uh, he says, I watch your channel. And, uh, so he must have recognized you from it. Oh, yeah, he did. And he had his, we got talking deer hunting. He said, that, Yeah, I said, I, at 12 years old, I shot a buck that was 200 pounds. Wow. Yeah. I said, I'm 81 years old, and I haven't yet to shoot a buck that's 200 pounds. Wow. So, what, what's your personal best, Donnie? 186. I'm getting close, huh? Yeah. Well, like the one Pat shot last year. <laughs> oh, Pat. Pat shot a big one on Donnie's property last year. Six points. 187 pounds. <laughs> he was lucky to be 120. I wasn't even 100. <laughs> Still had its spots. I couldn't believe it. it was the smallest six point I've ever seen. No kidding. He said it ran right up to him. He lifted his gun up, pointed at it, and said, nah, that's too small. Let it go. And then it turned around and ran right back at him again. And he said, well, if you're that dumb, I'll shoot you. So he shot it, picked it up, put it in his back pocket, walked out. <laughs> Man, them pickles are, they're not too spicy. No, they're not at all. No. They're perfect. 